got it. Come here, honey. Good girl. You're gonna drink the water? Don't go crazy with it today. Hydrotherapy will speed the recovery process in that the buoyancy of the water allows them to exercise for longer distances and faster speeds without putting stress on the injury or surgical repair. It takes about double the effort to move through water than it does through air, so that's where she's getting the strengthening from the resistance of the water. And then the warmth of the water relaxes and soothes all of the tissues that are submerged. And it feels good. So I'm watching for stride length. I'm looking at the back legs. Usually the surgery leg will have a mildly shorter stride. And then as they progress, the stride lengthens. Another thing I'm looking for is how hard they are planting the foot when it, when it comes down. When they're in the water, they tend to weight bear a little bit better than they do on land. So I'm looking for the foot to come down and be planted nice and firmly. I'm looking for the speed that the leg is advanced at. Sometimes when they start out, they advance quite slowly and as they progress, they can pull their limbs through the water faster and their stride length becomes more rapid. The big thing I'm always looking for is symmetry. When there's asymmetry, then you try to fine tune what the asymmetry is and then keep improving it with every session. Dogs that don't even have any ailments can benefit from hydrotherapy just for conditioning purposes. The buoyancy of the water and the resistance of the water, they recruit their muscles a little bit differently, so it gives them sort of like a cross-training effect. And so we're seeing more and more cases on a preventative basis where people are just starting to notice they're slowing down a little bit, so they're bringing them in, and then that way they've still got a lot of muscle mass that we can preserve. And it's really good for dogs that have arthritis. And anytime you can build muscle surrounding arthritic joints, it takes stress off of the joints and it makes them more comfortable. So we always go in with them in the very beginning. So we put a life jacket on them and we use a lot of treats and a lot of positive reinforcement and we go in with them to give them guidance and, and support. And then once they become more comfortable, we get out of the water and we just use treats and toys. And because the owners are always present, it's a really nice bonding experience because they can play a role in the healing of their pet. <laughs> okay, she's done. <laughs>